whatever our thoughts are about this tax season with all the new forms and the new rules. We now have, of course, the new added burden of the coronavirus and the worries that our clients and our staff has. Um, and no matter what your own beliefs may be about the coronavirus, whether it's overblown or not, that really doesn't matter because what matters is the perception of our clients and our fellow employees as to the safety and the things that we're taking, the steps we're taking to try to, try to protect them. I'm going to give you a 15 point checklist. It is attached to this YouTube as a download uh, of things that uh, we have done in our office and I'm going to suggest that you're going to do as well. All right, starting with number one immediately communicate to all of our clients and our employees that in the interest of safety and health for the clients and the employees, we are taking specific precautions right now rather than incurring any additional risk. Even though the precautions and the risks may seem small, they have big benefits with no real downsides. Number two, I would immediately do as we have done, which is put a sign on the outside door that says, please, no handshakes and use hand cleaner as soon as entering the building. Now related to that, make sure you have hand sanitizer and a wastebasket right there at the entry door. Number three, after entering the building, everyone, including employees, needs to clean their hands and wipe down the door handles uh, with the same sanitizers or a different sanitizer and throw that away as well. Number four, after a client or a third party enters and leaves, wipe down the door handles and any touch surfaces and don't touch the surface of the towel that you've used to wipe down and then throw it away. Number five, consider leaving the front door locked at all times. Now this is a decision that you have to make in your office. Uh, I just wanted to bring that up. Number six, immediately, today, now, deep clean everything. Wipe down all the desktops and drawers, window ledges, cubicle tops, and chairs and vacuum carefully. Next, use hand wipes on the outer and inner doors of restrooms when entering and leaving and throw them away and make sure there's waste baskets right there. Next item, use hand wipes on all refrigerator doors, microwaves, uh, tables, water coolers, uh, projectors, phones, you name it. Next, go through your refrigerator if you have one, throw everything in there that's away, including condiments, containers, and frozen items. This way you can control any new items that come in and also gets rid of any leftovers that are there. Next, sanitize, particularly sanitize all common use tools and areas. That would include printers, copiers, faxes, telephones, countertops before and after every use. Next. When you empty the trash, wear disposable gloves and or sanitize your hands before you touch your face or clothing or surfaces. Next, don't go out to lunch. Bring it from home or have it delivered. More to that and for that and to come. Next, have all your office supplies and mail delivered. 14. Consider a work from home strategy. It might be a little too late this tax season to get that done, but it's something you gotta consider right now. And number 15. Uh, make sure that you tell your ill employees to stay home. Uh, give a more lenient sick policy. Right, I have two other things to talk about. I want to talk about protecting clients as well as yourself. How about we implement a no appointment policy for the remainder of tax season? So you um, communicate this to a client, say, look, in the interest of safety, we want everybody to mail in stuff or to email items with an attachment that has been password protected or text a picture of a W-2 or a document or most importantly, upload it to a portal and we'll use the telephone to confirm everything. The other aspect of this to protect a client, how about a no appointment exit strategy for the rest of the season. I know many firms use an exit appointment. How about we stop and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to call them to update any final numbers. How about we electronically deliver tax returns via email with a password protected attachment or even more securely via a portal or you know at worst case let's resort to a mailed in tax return. After tax season, once it's here, a month and a half from now, uh, let's avoid any unnecessary travel until things clear up. Let's plan to utilize many of the above changes in the operation of our firm in the future. A no appointment system, web portals, electronic delivery, electronic signatures on 8879s and engagement letters, 
work from home technology and systems, things like Microsoft Teams is a good starting point. Develop remote policies. We have them in our technology seminar, which uh, is brand new again for 2020. And then you're going to have to consider continuing education via webinars. We are working right now with many of our society sponsors to do private webinars just for them. We have some of our own, and we're trying to work out a, uh, a lunch delivery as part of that uh, as part of that system. Well, that's all of it here from Tax Speaker. Again, this is a downloadable uh, attachment. I hope it helps. I'm sorry to interrupt you in tax season, but we felt that this was a necessary thing. Thanks, Bob Jennings for Tax Speaker. See you again next time.